Hello, everybody. Welcome to Three Song Thursday number 27. We're starting the second half now. Um, special treat, we have the fantastic Anna Tibble, who has just stopped by, and she's going to be on fiddle. Hey, JD and Ann, nice to see you here. I think we're going to be doing a song you helped write, JD. And JD Miller, my, uh, my humble booking agent, Black Oak Artist, thank you for being here. Hey, Art, I know who you are. I know you're not Sergio. <laughs> right? So, it's a special week. It's, it's very special to have Anna here, but it's also special that we're doing all these Great Peace March songs. I've been really kind of looking back at the Great Peace March 36 some years ago, and I've been reading stuff. You know, this, this book by uh, Ashley, Ashley Butler, Ashley Butler Geist. It's just remarkable. It's just her it's just her journal from the walk. And here's the thing, like I was there, right? And, and she describes some scenes where I was there and she missed everything that I thought was important about the scene and I missed everything that she thought was important about the scene. I mean, there was just a lot of things going on. Hey Melody Fairchild, nice to see you here. Hey Deborah from Santa Cruz. Melody is is Dakota there? Just curious. Um, that would be fun. And hi, Annie. Oh, hey, everybody. So many people. Hi, Mark. Gosh. Anyway, so, you know, I've also been reading um, this, which I had never, I'd never read. You know, sadly, you know, we have like 50 books by Peace Marchers. Wow. And about the march. And um, this was written by Donna not that long ago. Donna Love. And Donna Love and Ashley, who I didn't really know so much on the march, right? But I was just amazed to read this and read her, uh, her introduction. This child will never walk, the doctor told my mother, the day in 1927 I was born in Portland, Oregon. They both touched my poor little feet, bent upward so the tiny toes almost touched the shin bones. Mother met the doctor's gaze. You want to bet? And uh, at 59, she walked across the country with us. And I, I'm pretty sure she's still with us, which... Yeah, I did the math. That puts her at 95. So, hi, Donna, if you are out there. And it looks people, like... How many people were walking? Well, we started out with the idea of 5,000, but then we had 1,200. And then the march collapsed in Barstow. And we had three or 400. And uh, we kept going. And so we picked up people along the way. And on the yeah. last day in Washington, D.C., we had uh, 10,000. And uh, it was it was quite something. So Anna hasn't even heard about this yet, guys. Um, and I'm so thrilled to bring you some of these songs. And it was kind of amazing because, you know, I really haven't played these songs in 36 years. And yet I don't have any lyrics in front of me except for one song that I just learned yesterday. But no lyrics. They all came back. And I'm going to start off with this Tim Hunter song. And, one of my favorite memories of Tim Hunter is we were sitting in my, Ve in my Vegas condo, because remember I was a blackjack player before I was a peace walker. And um, we we're sitting in my Vegas condo on the floor and I had heard about meditation. I was asking Tim about it, you know, and he was sitting on the, on the floor and you know, Tim with the big beard, you know, and he was sitting there and he says, well, you know, it's, it's like you're a, you're a tree and, and you just imagine your trunk going into the earth and being part of the earth. And so anyway, 20 years later, I started a, a, a daily meditation <laughs> um, practice, which I still do, which I do today quite a lot, take it quite seriously. So my daughter, Carrie, by the way, everybody, she's commenting from Costa Rica, which is really fun. She just sent us pictures of some big raccoons, and um, I promise we will get to some music here. Um, but we're going to start off with a song from Tim Hunter. And this song, uh, you know, when the march broke down in Barstow, we needed to be, ins we needed something to inspire us. I mean, you know, we were told to go home and most people did go home, but some of us, a few hundred of us did not go home. And um, uh, this song, I, I can't help but think it was a big part of that. And I can't tell you how many times I, as a performer playing this song with Tim Hunter, got chills just just thinking about it because we did it you know we did this the thing he's talking about here 
This is Keepers of the Flame. child. You got too many icons there. Is, is, is that Dakota? And Jason Thompson, I just got to say, people, I don't know if you know what Jason Thompson is doing. He, he's a marcher that many of you know, but he is, we, we call him the archivist. I call him the archivist because he has taken it upon himself to find everything and digitize it and check out YouTube. We've got some really oh, yeah. some fun stuff on there. And I recently, uh, cleaning up my office, I boxed up a whole set of stuff and uh, sent it to him. And of course, uh, Swarthmore College has, uh, is keeping a lot of that stuff. So Jason is, is in touch. There's a museum wow. for the Great Peace March for Global Nuclear Disarmament. Oh, yay. Brenda says, that's for you. Anna. No. So. <laughs> Thanks, Brenda. You guys know each other, Brenda Peltier? Do you know Anna, Brenda? You can't exactly talk, can no, you? I do now. You do now, that's right. <laughs> 
That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Okay, we got more because I know it is a three song Thursday, but I kind of have a I have a list of songs, so let's try to let's try to get to them. And um, this song comes from uh, Doug McWilliams, and uh, more than anybody else on the Great Peace March, I. He was a mentor to me, you know, and, you know, I grew up with sisters and a mother and um, there were just, there were just no great men role models in my life. And then I met Doug McWilliams. So uh, I love Doug and um, he wrote this song and he wrote this because uh, we we're walking through by the Nevada test site and wow. where they had a history of overground tests, overground nuclear tests. And we talked to people whose families um, uh, were involved uh, in some of the horrible stuff that went on there. And so Doug wrote this song, Downwinders, and how am I gonna do it? You know, this is another song that I haven't played in over 30 years, and when I did play it, I played it on bass while Doug sang it. And yet, I put my three-string capo on, <laughs> and I pick out some chords, and. I know this song, it's just so wild. <laughs> okay, here we go. In Bonkerville, a small Nevada town, she would live there still. Gloria turned 12 in 1953, and she played in the dust and fell down from a favorite tree. She rode Gloria in the dust of the car window. Could not have known that four years later the cancer grew. Now Gloria is dead at 42. Gloria, she was a downwind, but she didn't know her. George, Utah, was a healthy crew from little babe to their great grandpa. My how things have changed since 1951. When the word came down that the A bone testing had begun, and the dust that fell into their lives took away life. It's family ties and as he mourned the death of his five-year-old the government washed their hands and his blood ran cold oh, 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 oh. he was a downwind Not told to avoid delays in the testing. Show 
those who will fall. Instead of being taught how to avoid the harm, the families were told there's no cause for alarm. Tibble, everybody. Isn't she great? What, what a treat. What a treat to have her here and be singing these uh, great Peace March songs. Nice to see all of you guys. Oh, the tip jar. JD, we are not... How do you access the tip jar? We're, gonna, we're asking everybody. I don't feel like taking, taking tips. We're not doing the tip jar, but we just want to ask everybody to give what they can to Ukraine, Red Cross, or whatever uh, choice you make about how to get money out there. I will tell you later that I, I have set up a Patreon account and I will tell you about that later. But for right now, it's just it's just really hard to ask for uh, money with everything that's going on there. And uh, we here um, we here at Three Song Thursday, we have a lot of connections uh, to that part of the country, including my great producer, Auxa, who's from Lithuania, and uh, of course my daughter, who is uh, Russian, though I don't think she's using her Russian passport right now when she's in Costa Rica. <laughs> commenting on this thread <laughs> but what a complicated it's a complicated world we live in it's it's just kind of crazy so all the songs that i'm playing tonight were written 36 years ago 10 years before i started touring wow. as a singer songwriter so th th this is this is um this is an interesting night in that way and so many others they um I've been reading a lot of the Stoics lately, and uh, one of the things they, they say is to imagine, uh, imagine that this is the last time, you know, last time you'll drink a cup of coffee. Just imagine it's, this is going to, it could be, someday you will have a last time. This is the last time you take a shower. Uh, you know, this is the last time you, uh, you know, you kiss your daughter on the cheek. And, um, you know, it sounds a little bit morbid, but it's not meant to be uh, that way. But... I just wonder about these songs, you know, in 30 years, uh, you know, we haven't played much of these songs. And so we're playing them today. And it, I got to say, it feels good. I hope this is not the last time that we do that. Dakota, you're there? I can't believe it. That's great. I was just thinking today about how I was going to um, record uh, Dakota's ukulele. I got to get that on Spotify so that you can pull it up anytime. You can show your friends. Hey, hey yeah, here's a song about me, right? <laughs> That would be great, right? <laughs> anyway, hey, is Scott Use with us? I don't. I haven't seen a message from him. I don't think so. I I, I was prepared to play his song, but maybe we'll um, we'll wait and uh, do something else. Why don't we do this one? I, you know, it's it's funny, but uh, as we were walking across the country in 1986, that's when uh, Chernobyl oh, yeah. happened. So crazy uh, coincidence. So I'm going to do that song that I wrote. And this, people, this is one of the first songs I ever wrote. I had never performed for anybody before the Great Peace March. I don't know if you guys know that. But um, this is Anna. Oh, somebody asked. Thank you, Carrie. Carrie is, uh... hi, Donna from Nashville. Is Mr. Faherty there? Is Kevin Faherty there with you? Hope so. Anyway, yeah, Julia, we, I did Downwinders, that was for you. You asked for that. Gavin, nice to see you all. Emoji Man Dakota. You got like lots of emojis, Dakota, huh? You got a butterfly, you've got some kind of flag. You got a thumbs up, you got a red heart. Those are all good. Those are all good things. Um, where was I going with this? Okay, song. 
Oh, this is a song I wrote. Mm -hmm. I read a book uh, by Helen Caldicott called Enemy Image, and then Chernobyl happened, and uh, this is what came out of it, one of the first songs I ever, I ever did. This is called uh, Ground Zero, people. And I almost know it. This is the one I wrote. <laughs> story and it won't take too long about the people in the fancy land who know right from wrong they got the curious sense of pride and they want to be strong but they won't be around in the end to say what went wrong i don't want to live at ground zero no more i don't want to push forward with my silence No, I don't want to The love fear or the fear love No more, no more, no more. Silence Oh, you a story and it won't take too long About the boy in a fancy house Who knows right from wrong Got the curious sense of pride and he wants to belong But he won't be around in the end to say What went wrong? I don't want to live at ground zero No more, that's it, you don't want to push war with my silence No, I don't want to love fear or to fear love no Push war with my silence. No, I don't want to love fear or to fear love no more. No more, no more silence. No more silence. There's trouble in the city of the northern Ukraine. So get to check out and write it and sign your name. There's confusion in my heart as I try to explain. Oh, that the mindless slaughter of this power game. I don't want to live in ground zero no more. I don't want to push forward with my silence now. I don't want to love fear or to fear love no more, no more, no more silence, no more silence, no more silence, no more silence. Hey James from the EU, you know it was your idea. I thought we couldn't do this night, but you said, "Hey, it's just as it's it's a good it's a good time to do uh, songs about remembering a peace walk." And I said, "Okay, yeah, James is right. This is Anna Tivel, everybody. She's amazing. <laughs> it's so great. Yes, and uh, you are going to get an extra song, Tom. And thank you. You're always you always ask. 
and I rarely do it, but uh, we will do when we will do another song for you. What are we gonna do? We're gonna do. Uh, let's do this one. The story goes, okay. and I will tell you a story. We were camped in Iowa, and in um, I think we were camped in Iowa City, and we saw a poster, and it said Jackson Brown was playing at the basketball <laughs> stadium, forty-five minutes away. Okay. And so 11 of us hopped on a bus. And as we uh, got on this bus, my friend Brenda, who we've inter I've introduced you to, she said, Daryl, bring him home. So 11 of us went to this concert and he heard we were there. Aww. And he invited us backstage. And uh, a beautiful thing, I don't think you, you've seen the picture, but I posted a picture online of a, 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 our, our marcher, Mark Lether with a peace sign all painted on his face. What a, he, he was just, he was such a beautiful man and um, young, very young. I mean, he might have been 17 at the mm -hmm. time. And so we went back stage after the show to talk to Jackson Brown. And uh, we were all lined up there, all 11 of us. I was 11th in line. And it turned out there were only 10 passes to get backstage. Jackson had only left 10 passes. So it got, it got to the tenth person, and that was Mark. That was Mark Lether, like, who I posted with the peace sign on his face earlier today. And uh, Mark uh, turns to me in great peace march fashion and says, "Have you met him?" I said, "No, I haven't." He says, "I've met him. You, you go ahead." <laughs> and he let me in, and uh, you know, uh, he invited us in, so we thought we'd invite him out to our camp. Right? It was after midnight at this point. Right. And um, he says, well, I, you know, I'd love to. I'm, I'm, I'm taking a bus to, you know, Omaha tomorrow. I've got to play. And um, I said, what about tonight? He says, isn't everybody going to be asleep? I said, we'll wake them up. And we did. <laughs> and Jackson sat around and taught us this song, which we played all across the country. And into the, the former Soviet Union. We played it in the first ever stadium rock concert in the former Soviet Union yeah. the following year for 30,000 Russians. And uh, it was, uh, it was before, 10 years before I started touring and it will always be my biggest gig. And Brenda is the one that um, sang this. So I'm gonna sing it for her today. And this is a Stephen Van Zandt song called I Am A Patriot. This is not, is this how I do it? I, you know, Anna and I, um, you know, practiced, you know, like a lot. And by a lot, I mean, we didn't practice at all. So <laughs> she's just, she's just picking this up as she goes, right? Oh gosh, I don't remember. Let's, we'll just start it. And if it's the wrong key, we'll, we'll, we'll move it up. And the river opens for the righteous And the river opens for the righteous Someday I was walking With my brother And he wanted What's on my mind I said what I believe in my heart Not what I see with my eyes so tired. I said, friend, what's on your mind? She said, I want to run with the lions. Release from the cages. Release from the rages. Burning in my heart tonight. And I'm not a communist. Well, I'm not a capitalist. And I'm not a socialist. I'm not an imperialist, I'm not a democrat, I sure ain't no republican, but I believe in one party, it's 
the party of freedom. Well, I am, I am, I am. Because my country is all I know And the river opens for the righteous And the river opens for the righteous And the river opens for the righteous Someday, someday Anna Tibble, everybody. Wow. Thank you. So fun. So fun. Okay. We have one or we have one or two more Peace March songs. You know, uh, Doug wrote so many and um, Tim wrote so many. And I want to say uh, hello to uh, our friend Michael Krieger. I want to say ho hello to our friend J.D. Stillwater and all these people. We were in a band together called Collective Vision. And we played for uh, a year or two after uh, the march. I want to say hi to Jay Vogt. And uh, am I missing anybody? I think that was all of Collective Vision. Doug McWilliams, Tim Hunter, Brenda Peltier, me, and uh, uh, the three drummers. <laughs> well, they, well, they did other things. Bo Bixler! How can I remember Bo Bixler? He played the flute and, and the drums. And uh, hi, Michael. Good to, to see you. Thank you for being here. Uh, you, you are, you know, I, I love you, Michael, I really do. Um, as, as much as we spend time away, it's still, it's still all there. Anyway, so, uh, but I also wanted to throw out some, uh, some love to all the other musicians on the market. We had a Wild Women for Peace, and I'm like, some names are popping into my head. I mean, Trace Wyron was so incredible, right? And uh, you don't, wouldn't know, but <laughs> I'm like looking at Anna like she would know. Yes, I'm getting such good stories right now. <laughs> Trace Wyron, and I'm thinking, I, I'm just seeing faces, uh, Lori Shields and Shelley White and Jenny Dean, and, um, and there, were, there were others. And uh, who could forget Noel Rhodes and Louis Franco? You know, Louis has made some great music since the march. I sang on some of his records. And... Um, you know, there was just a lot of people making some great music. Now, I wouldn't say that it's like it was music was the reason we walked into Washington D.C. Yeah. eight months after we fell apart in Barstow on schedule. But just for me, I won't say that it's not. We met so many of our heroes. So many of our heroes came out, and we were just. I was just so inspired. Pete Seeger. We spent we spent the night. We slept in his barn that yeah. night, and um, we met Yoko Ono in a on a dark night in a big tent in New Jersey with Sean, with the, her, her son Sean. Um, so many people, I'm forgetting a lot. What was the name of Noel's group? What was the name of Noel's? Oh, Noel Rhodes and the Blisters, that's right. And didn't they do like Get Up, Stand Up by, uh, by uh, uh, Bob Marley? Hmm. And, and, but they had some original songs too, which I don't, uh, I don't remember. But anyway, I could go on a long time. So we're just going to get to uh, another song. Let's see what we haven't played. Um, let's play Scotty's song because he listens to a lot of these three song Thursdays and it doesn't seem like he's here right now, but A, maybe he is, and B, he'll watch later. And so Scotty was in jail for protesting the testing of the Trident Two missile in Florida. And the whole band wrote this song for her. We were all involved. JD, I think you did a lot. Doug was involved quite a lot. J.D. Stillwater, and um, J.D. is telling us stories about Lewis, but that's cool. Noel Moan and the Blisters, that's right, Noel Moan and the Blisters, that's a good name. <laughs> <laughs> and their band, the band, the march name after the band, James says, was Throbbing Ego. Okay, <laughs> okay, fair enough. So, so, um, uh, where were we? We are going to play another song. And it's going to be Scotty's song. And the story goes that uh, I asked Doug, I said to Doug as we were writing this, what's a three, what's, a, what's something that has heart? Three syllables. And Doug comes right back. He says, the Tin Man. And we had our chorus. <laughs> so here we go. Scotty's song. 
Out on Cape Cod trespassing, quiet man, boldly asking, why is the money not from taxes being spent this way? Well, I'd prefer that my tax dollars keeping you in bread and water, the freedom found in those times. Bound to go a long, long way. Do we know your best guide? Seaman's heart, and it ain't no party. Got less room, got more heart than the ten men on that entire Vapor trails across the sun They hail the time when time is done Doing time is sometimes done When truth is on the line Abandoning the rich and long Answering to a higher call the power coming through the wall more than words can say. You know we know your best God is Seaman's heart and it ain't no party. You got less room, but you got more heart than the ten men on Valentine's Day. Mm -hmm. Your life, my life, day to day Is just one big revolving cage The freedom from the daily rage Is ours alone to claim Living life between the bars Seaman's heart and it ain't no part Got less room, got more heart Ten men on Valentine's This is Anna Tivill, everybody. Laura Monaghan from Berlin, 2 a.m. We are going to try your song. I was just explaining to Anna. We're going to try it right now. This will be our last song. Uh, we're doing six songs on Three Song Thursday. But I'm, it's so nice to see you. And I was so thrilled to get digital copies of the three songs, two of which I remember from the march, uh, Three Blind Mice and um, Thin White Line. And then the new one. Um is also quite impressive because you are a quite impressive songwriter and we're going to try your song right now and, and we're going to do our best but here's the problem i was just explaining to anna about your song you know the first half of it is one song and then and then there's another song friends will circle up and light up this road and then there's another song birds of passage moving town after town and then there's another so there's four songs there's four like melodies and chord things to learn. Am I not right? Am I not correct about that? So anyway, <laughs> I'm thrilled you are here and we are going to do the best we can. <laughs> And 
know you do this in open E. We are going to imitate open E with a three string capo. Anna Tivo, by the way, people, uh, she does she does her own thing and it's really worth checking out. Anna Tivo, T I V E L. And uh, you can find her in all the usual places, I'm pretty sure. Let me tune up just because Anna's just because Anna's here. We're gonna... oh, not too bad. Not too bad. Is this like a thirty-song, three-song Thursday? Three plus three, yeah. It's six songs. We're doing six songs. How long have we been going? Wow, forty-one minutes. That's twice as long as any three song Thursday. Well, I had Anna, you know, so I thought. You know. Double, double the people, double the people. <laughs> That's right. But no, really, it's just about the peace march, and and uh, we were just going to do this one time. So, got to get them all in there. How is Daryl performing live and typing comments, Michael? Uh, that's my daughter Carrie. She is uh, typing from Costa Rica. So. All right, so this is the last one we're gonna try. Laura Monaghan song. You know what I did? I started it without, this is the one I have to look at the lyrics. So, I'm going to put them over here. <laughs> Good catch. Uh, I see. I see how this goes. Three blind mice See how they run See how they run From each other Each of the three too blind to see, too blind to see his own brother. The hunter has gone for the season. The sailor has gone to sea. The warrior wages a hundred years for my mother's hand. On her finger, I've got a friend with chains on her heart. No one can see like my two friends and me, where there once was one heart out there. Now there are three, and the wind can blow hard at the window. The waves can roll in. Love can stay outside or love can come in. My love is here with me. Like he told, I will will you. I have waited for a boat on the string. We all have wings. We all have. Bring it. 
in the danger down trace behind us who'll be out there to find us we lift our eyes search the skies change the winds of fate to favor if all else fails our spirit sails we'll fly as one forever Tivoli, everybody. That was a Laura Monaghan song. And you know, I brought out, I love this. Uh, Laura wrote a song about the march, but it's, I think it's only available digitally. But she also wrote this uh, book, which is a novel and is really wonderful, really great read. The Unaccompanied Tour. Really um, exciting and creative and, yeah. and uh, interesting. I think, uh, I think we are going to say goodbye. This is this is like my favorite three song, number 27, my favorite one. Aww. We had Anna Tivill here. We had all these peace marchers. Thank you, Laura, sending love out your way, nine time zones uh, to the east. Uh, stay safe. I don't actually know exactly where you are. I don't know where you are exactly. I'm, I'm guessing Germany, but I don't really know. So stay safe. We are sending uh, lots of love out to your part of the world. and. Uh, we're just hoping everybody can find a way to stay safe and this thing can um, can end, you know. And um, I love you, everybody. And we'll see you uh, next week on uh, Three Song Thursday, number 28. Hi, Ramsey. Hi, Tracy Bartlett. <laughs> Tracy was in The Wild Women for Peace. Brenda Peltier. I love you so much. Yay. Thanks, Candace.